Hi everyone, Tim here with TC Home Inspections. Today's topic is ghosting or soot staining. So what in the world is ghosting? Where does it come from and what can you do about it? Well, I'm actually in a home right now where ghosting has occurred and you'll see lines on the ceiling and the walls and also you'll see a dark stain where the nail heads are located underneath the paint. So check this out. So these are nail heads where soot from the air has accumulated and formed a dark spot. Check this out over here. Look at the lines in the ceiling and the walls. Okay? Well, that's exactly what ghosting looks like. Well, what's happening in this home is there is some source either a furnace, a maybe a gas fireplace, or even something as benign as candle burning that has caused ghosting. And what's happened is, is every time a source is heated, whether it be gas from a furnace, a fireplace, or even a candle, there's inefficient burning taking place. And when inefficient burning takes place, there's soot formed. That soot then gets in the air, it looks for a place to accumulate, call its home if you will, and what happens is there are cold spots on the walls that are caused by lack of insulation or maybe just a different building material. And in the case of a nail head or a wall stud, that is a cold spot because it's a less efficient area uh, for insulation. And then the soot is attracted to those areas through a process called thermal bridging and the soot actually causes those lines where the studs are and causes a circle where the nail head is located. So that's exactly what happens when you get ghosting. It is soot forming on materials that get cold, sometimes damp, and accumulates there and leaves a dark spot. Well, that's what ghosting is or soot staining is. What in the world can you do about it? Well, unfortunately, it's not recommended to just paint over the top of it because it is actually from inefficient burning and it's actually got petroleum in it and will actually just come right through the new paint in a matter of months. So that ghost, if you will, will reappear. The only thing you can do is clean that area. Now, what I found is one thing that seems to work really well, and I've got some here, is Mr. Clean Wipes. Can you see those guys? These actually work quite well taking off that soot uh, on the walls and the ceilings where nail heads are located. That actually does a pretty good job eliminating it. The only thing you can really do to stop ghosting is in most cases, stop burning candles. Candles are the number one source of ghosting. And because most candles just burn inefficiently, they give off a lot of soot and it, that soot accumulates where you don't want it to. Know this, if the candles you're burning give off that much, you should do something about it because it's probably not healthy to breathe that soot in your lungs. And the number one thing you can do for candles is to keep them trimmed. In other words, keep that wick about an eighth of an inch. Don't let that candle wick get long because what you'll find is when candle wicks get long, they become carbonized at the end and they give off more smoke, more soot is formed, and you'll get more ghosting. So I hope this is helpful. Now you know what ghosting is actually caused from, what it is, and what to do about it. But just know this, the only way to eliminate ghosting is to produce less soot in the air provide more efficient burning by the way of keeping your furnace clean, keeping your gas fireplace clean so the flames are nice and blue on that furnace so that they're not yellowed in the fireplace and so that those candle wicks are small and they're burning efficiently. I hope this is helpful. If this has been good for you, give me a thumbs up and let us know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next video.